us, Master. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, whatever word goes to our things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us, Mary, of purity, and save our souls, of good God. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our lost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, for this our sin. the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of thy chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds a chariot, who rides to the wings of the wind, who makes the angels, makes thy angels spirits and thy men. Thou didst set the, the earth on its foundation, so that it should never be shaken. Thou didst cover it with the deepest with the garments, the waters from the mountains. At their rebuke they fled, at the sound of their thunder they took the flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which thou didst appoint for them. Thou didst set a bound, but they should not pass, so they might not again cover the earth. Thou make a spring gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing about the mountains. From thy lofty abode thou waterest the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy work. Thou just cause the grass to grow for the cattle, fodder for the animals that serve man, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. Thou hast made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makest darkness, and in his night will the beasts of the forest creep forth. Young lions work for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lay down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor and to the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creatures. Yonder is the sea great and wide, which changes things innumerable. Living things go small and great. There go the ships in the high, in which thou hast formed to sport in it. These all look to thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest them, they gather it up, and thou open thy hand, they are filled with good things. When thou hide thy face, they are dismayed. When thou take away their spirit, they die and return to their dust. When thou send forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and the trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing praises to my God will I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun rose the time for setting, and thou makest darkness in its night. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have 
mercy. For the peace and bound for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of our church of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This holy house and us who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. His beatitude, Mitch Bolton, he condemns Archbishop Daniel, the honorable priest, the diacon in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the president of our country, for all the authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick, the suffering, for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, that they talk us and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, I call upon thee, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon thee, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon thee. Hear me, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in thy sight as incense and glad. before my mouth and the door of closure around the mouth my lips incline not my heart unto <coughs> words or evil to make excuse with excuses and sins with men that work iniquity I will not join with their chosen the righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me as for the oil of the sinner let it not anoint my head for yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures swallowed up near by the rock have their judges been they shall hear my words for they be sweetened as a clod of earth is broken upon the earth, so have their bones been scattered nigh unto Hades. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes. In thee have I hoped. Take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, my affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, thou knowest my paths. In this way wherein I have walked, they hid for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, but there is none that did know me. Flight hath failed me, and there is none that watches out for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, and I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths I have cried unto thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Amen. Amen. I, a sheep of thy rational flock, flee for refuge to thee, the good shepherd. O God, I have gone astray. Seek me and have mercy on me. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, it could stand, but there is forgiveness with thee. Amen. 
in the season of abstinence of believers, let us exert every effort that we may attain great glory, escaping the fire of hell by the mercy of God. sake, I have waited for thee, for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Having passed the middle point of this holy fast, let us clearly show forth the beginning of divine glory. Let us fervently hasten to the achievement of good behavior, that we may receive the eternal morning watch until night from the morning watch let Israel hope on the Lord having passed beyond the middle point of this holy fast let us strive to us and rejoicing with steadfastness let us anoint ourselves with the oil of charity that we may be worthy to adore the noble passion of Christ our God and attain his most honored and holy resurrection. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is pledges redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. By your preaching filled with divine understanding, you delivered the people from ignorance, O most wise apostles, and you led them safe to the world, who shone forth from the unbegotten Father, entreat him that he may grant our souls peace and great mercy. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. Let us openly praise the true preachers of Christ, who deserve the circus and the divine trophies. For with the warmth of divine grace, they brought the winter of falsehood to an end. Now, Receiving the reward of their labors, and are deified through ineffable communion. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You followed Paul, the glorious disciple, and endured many tribulations of glorious ones. You were in prison with chains and subjected to torture. And finally you were beheaded by the sword. And treat Christ that he may grant our souls peace and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Woe is me, what shall I do? I have defiled my mind, soul, and body with transgressions. What shall I do? How shall I escape the unbearable flame and the unbreakable and everlasting bonds? Yet grant me remission of my sins before the end of the school. Blessed is the entrance of your holy ones, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend. O bless the light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ. Setting of the sun, and beheld the 
Guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Lord For all things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian and love of our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the great judgment of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, 
Lord, hail the Ghost of the Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Glory, O Lord. Good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bow our heads unto the Lord. O Lord, who the bow the heavens and came down for the salvation, you've been raised, look upon thy servants and upon thine inheritance. For thee, the awesome judge who loves mankind, the servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but, but entreating thy mercy and looking comfortably for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every fire, from all diverse powers of devil and from vain thoughts and evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of the ages. Amen. Amen. The Savior who planted the vineyard and called the laborers is here indeed. Come For the giver is rich and merciful. Even if we have labored little, we receive great mercy. To thee I lift up mine eyes, O thou who art enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he have mercy upon us. When heaven fell upon the robbers of thought, he was robbed of his mind. His soul was wounded and he was cast out naked and without any aid. The priest who came before the law did not listen to him. The Levite who came after the law had no compassion on him. Only thou, O God, who camest not from Samaria, but from the Theotokos. O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease, the contempt of the proud. My heart is a war, did not deny thee, nor did they forsake thy commandments. By their intercessions have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Like the archangel of believers, let us praise the heavenly bridal chamber and the well-sealed gate. Rejoice and obey through whom spring forth for us the Savior of Christ, the light giver and God of all. I give our hope of Christians destroyed with thy own hands. The tyrants are godless enemies. Lord, thou lettest thy thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. and confession, as thou art gracious and the lover of mankind. Amen. Take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love of thy servant. Yea, Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou in the ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner, have mercy on me. 
God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God cleanse me a sinner, and have mercy on me. All together. Lord, Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and I will talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, and patience, and love to thy servant. In the name of the Lord the King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God and our hope. Glory to thee. out of the park. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> Just do Good always. to see you. Glory to Jesus Christ. Come on, it's storming outside. I need it louder than that. You know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of one, uh, one uh, Holy Week procession with Father Peter. And we're halfway around the church, and the dark clouds are coming in, and the trees are starting to, to bend, and the wind is coming up and everything else. And Father Peter leans over to the choir, and the candle bears, the taper bears, and says, Quicker, you got to go quicker. <laughs> Almost there, week four, right? And um, Father Brian asked me to talk a little bit today about prayer and fasting, so I'm going to comment a little bit about those at a high level, and then also talk a little bit about Father, Father John of the Ladder, St. John of the Ladder, and what he has to say about prayer and fasting as well. You know, there's a lot going on this particular week, right? Not only do we remember Father John of the Ladder, St. John of the Ladder, Climacus, Climacus, I guess it's Acus if you're from the Midwest, there's a hard A in there someplace, right? Um, 
but the abbot of Sinai, uh, one of the oldest Christian monasteries in the world at St. Catherine's Monastery. And so his divine uh, ladder of divine ascent is appointed to be read in Lent at this time, right? As is the life uh, hagiography of Mary of Egypt and the canon of St. Andrew in Crete in complete uh, for this week, right? To reflect a little bit on sins and Old Testament uh, prophets as well. And then, of course, the Akathis to the Theotokos as well on Friday, the latter who actually joins earth to heaven, right? The person who said yes to God. You know, um, when Father asked me to talk a little bit about prayer and fasting, I don't really know that I can teach you anything, okay? I think Orthodox are some of the most highly educated about their faith. But although I don't think that I can teach you anything, I can tell you one thing is a truth, and that is that we have to teach ourselves, okay? We have to look deeply and teach ourselves. And that's not me saying that. That's actually uh, St. John of the Ladder who said that. If you were in church this morning, you heard the gospel and you heard Christ's admonition to his apostles. He seemed a little bit irritated at a certain point with the, with the brethren, right? And he said, how long must I be with you? And that's what you're all thinking right now because I'm standing between you and that Lenten meal over there. You're wondering, how long are you going to go on and do something, right? You know, they couldn't heal that child epileptic, and Christ reminded them that it was only through prayer and fasting that that was possible. And speaking of this saint of today and this ladder of divine scent that he, a scent that he wrote, right? Anybody want to guess what was the very first he published in the Americas. It was his book, right? 1532, it was the first book ever printed in the Americas, a very important book, not just for monastics, but a very important book for laity as 